What we talked about last night, about being focused, about when we cross that white line, we've got to be nasty. We've got to be horrible bastards. For 80 minutes, we got to do what it takes to win. you got to look at their fucking eyes, you got to want to kill them. you got to want to have that ball. Every time you have that ball, you want to run over the fuckers. You want to make sure that when you get that ball, it's the fucking... That's all you want to do is kill somebody. Give me the fucking ball. So when you get it, you can fucking come in and you can fucking kill them. <laughs> you go! Good job done. It's about a mindset. It's about the mindset. When I cross that white line, I become somebody else. You gotta become somebody else, you get fucking hurt. Who's going? Ah! Ah! Oh, boy, oh, boy, boy. Gun Freeman. Come on! Come on! Feeling he's some way off his potential, Chris Chudley pulls Aaron aside again. You're gonna run into contact with me, and you're gonna go through me. Okay? Here we go, here we go. Pump the legs, pump the legs, get low, good lad, get low, get low, get low. Come Oh, okay. That's all I'm fucking asking for. That's all I'm asking for is 80 minutes of wanting to be better than your opponent. This is the only place in the world, this is the only time that you cross that white line that bullying is acceptable because it's the nature of our game. We can try and put some little frills on what we're doing, but in reality, rugby is a contact sport. Rugby is a contact sport and it is about those inches either side of the contact area. Win them, win them, and the rest will look after itself. I'm just so, so excited. I don't know whether it's a bit of nerves, anticipation, it's just what is going to happen in the next 80 minutes is going to reflect what has happened in the last eight weeks. For some of us, it's going to reflect on what's happened most of our lives. It's going to be a fucking battle. Eight weeks ago, you made the choice to walk through that door, that rugby club door, and you said to us, I want to be part of School of Hard Knocks. I want an opportunity in life. I want to go out and I want to be better rugby player. I want to be a better person. But more importantly, I want to be part of something that will change not only mine, but the rest of our lives. I'm so fucking proud of you lads, what you've been through. We've had highs, we've had lows. I say something every year, that if you don't feel those butterflies in your stomach now, the butterflies, those nerves in your stomach, if they are there now, when we walk out that door, they turn to dragons. Because they get bigger and they get stronger. And we use them. And those dragons this year, I am convinced are going to breathe fucking fire. We are going to go out and we are going to be School of Hard Knocks, the team that brings home the fucking bacon! Come on! Are we ready? Are we ready? Come on! The butterflies, those nerves in your stomach, if they are there now, when we walk out that door, they turn to dragons because they get bigger and they get stronger and we use them. And those dragons this year, I am convinced, are gonna breathe fucking fire. Fucking fire, fucking fire. We are gonna go out and we are gonna be school of our knocks, the team that brings home the fucking big Are we ready? Are we ready? Come on!
just a minute from me before we go. Come in, come in nice and tight. Come in nice and tight so I can see you. Doesn't matter if you gotta get on the floor. I don't care. We come nice and tight. Lads, it's a great privilege to be standing in front of you. It's a great honor to have school of hard knocks come back to Wales. But for me, it's been an absolute honor to get to know you lads. Eight weeks ago, we walked into that rugby club in Rugby. Some of you knew each other, some of you didn't. Some of you have played rugby at a decent level. Some of you had never touched the ball before. The one reason we're here was for yesterday, <coughs> for the jobs fair. <coughs> and for me, one of the best we've ever had. The way you conducted yourselves, the way you turned up with a suit and a tie and a smile, with a confidence to go out and sell yourself. It's the reason we do this. The little bit of rugby we get to play should put a smile on our face. And this year, we're given an opportunity to play on a professional pitch. I get goosebumps walking down that corridor. This is where legends are made. It's an absolute privilege. And you know what? You fucking deserve it. What did Nathan cleverly say? When you get knocked down, what do you do? What do you do? Fucking right, we get back up. Because we're going to get knocked down today. 80 minutes, you put that school of hard knocks jersey on. And I want you all to get up for a minute. All get up. Look around. Do you see the dragon? Do you see the fucking dragon? Yeah!